Hey guys, I'm here with Payson Lewis, the amazing Payson Lewis. If you're a For the Record fan, Bear fan, he's here in front of me. He's awesome, and he plays Eddie Burtlace. And how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What's going on, guys? How you doing? If he sounds like Rex, because he was doing his pre-show, like getting in shape, getting you know, Gotta getting get prepared pumped up for the show, you know. So what is it like playing Eddie Burtlace? Oh man, Eddie is a is an interesting guy. You know, he's a um, typical like macho alpha type from the 60s. So it's uh, interesting getting into that headspace, but Ultimately, he's a guy with um, a good heart, uh, even though it's under a couple layers of bad, <laughs> bad ideas. Um, but it, it's fun, and it's, it's like I need this workout at the beginning so I can get pumped up and ready to go, because he's a guy who's all action. Do you share some similarities with Eddie in certain aspects? Um, Hopefully not the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, part, but, you know. <laughs> no, actually, so my, uh, my mom came to see the show last night, and she was saying this is the most unlike me character I've ever played. So I'm a very easygoing, uh, laid back kind of guy. And, and Eddie is all action and, and um, not a particularly nice guy, which is kind of what I pride myself on being, or at least I ch try and tell myself that. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Eddie, Eddie is very different from me. So you and Nikki, this is let's say your second or third time doing a show together, right? Yeah, I think it's our, our second time together. We did a For the Record show uh, together about uh, three or four years ago. Uh, she played Oren Ishii from Kill Bill, and I played a bunch of different characters from, from Tarantino films. So it's, it's our first time getting to work in real close proximity and as romantic opposites, and she's amazing. So it's been an amazing, uh, fun process for us. Which is interesting because you guys have such an amazing chemistry. I saw it like last week was amazing just watching you guys' chemistry. It was like a lecture. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, we actually really hate each other. No, I'm just kidding. No, she's I the hope not. <laughs> no. Nikki's not watching this. I know, she's not watching she's this. Not, she? She's not here. No, Nikki and I uh, have been friends for a long time, even before we started working together. So um, becoming, you know, building that trust and that intimacy wasn't particularly difficult. We've been close for a while now, so. So one of the major themes is beauty, mm -hmm. and what would you say is beautiful to you from your experiences? Oh man, I mean, what this show is a testament to, and it's, you know, we, we learn this in kindergarten, uh, but sometimes we forget, uh, you know, true beauty is on the inside, um, and it's about being a good person and understanding and, and loving, and ultimately that's what this show is about, is about being loving and understanding of people who are different from you and might not look exactly like you, but uh, are good people in their hearts, and that's what's important. That's true beauty. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hey. I'm gonna let you like change your clothes. You guys can see him at the Hollywood Bowl. This one yeah. right in hair. Oh no, it's Mama, Mama Mia. Mia. I'm just saying hairspray because I was singing Corbin, so th that's that. But yeah, see well, him Corbin Mama Mia. Corbin will be in it, so he he'll, he'll be there. He'll be in Mama Mia this time. Can't All right. wait. Bye.